Hi there, folks. Happy Easter. Today is the Tuesday of Easter week, and let's go ahead and start with our gospel reading for the day. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, That they have taken my Lord, and I do not know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. And Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. And Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. And Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord and then reported what he had told her. Now, one of the things that's true about a lot of these post-resurrection stories that we read, uh, these stories of Jesus' appearance before he ascends to heaven, is that the disciples have a hard time recognizing him. And it sounds strange because the resurrected Christ is Jesus of Nazareth, the Jesus that they had been spending so much time with. But there was something different about him. And they don't quite know what it was. And it's kind of mysterious to us looking back 2,000 years before. There was something really mysterious. They all seem to have a difficult time recognizing him. And today's story with Mary Magdalene is such a beautiful, beautiful story because she thinks he's the gardener. (laughs) Uh, But it's when he says her name, when he says Mary, and you can imagine the love with which he says that. That's when her eyes are open, and that's when she recognizes that this is Jesus. Now, this reading from the Gospel of John is reminiscent of something earlier in the Gospel of John, where Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. My sheep know my voice, and I know my sheep, right? My sheep know my voice. Mary recognized his voice when he said her name with love. She recognized the risen Christ in a word of love. That's really, really significant because I think today it's easy for us to just say, oh, the resurrection stuff is just a story. Maybe it happened 2000 years ago. Maybe it didn't. But you know what? The resurrected Christ is right here with us and he continues to speak in love and we can recognize the risen Christ all around us any given moment of the day when we learn to recognize words of love and when we learn to recognize loving actions. In fact, I would go so far as to say that that is the resurrection today. That is the presence of the risen Christ right here in our midst. When you and I choose love, when we speak with love or with patience, when we choose that rather than speaking with anger or violence, uh, when we when we choose words of hope, words of encouragement rather than despair, uh, when we, when, we, when we choose words of faith, when, when you and I choose to act according to our faith rather than according to the fears that we all carry around, that's the power of the risen Christ in our midst. And it's, it's important for us to learn to recognize the risen Christ. And we do have to learn it. There's a, I don't know if it's a skill or maybe more of an art, but we can learn. We can learn to tune ourselves in to recognizing the presence of Christ, the presence of the risen Christ all around us. Um, But it it takes work and it takes practice because there are a lot of other voices out there too. Voices of violence, voices of fear, voices of despair that tend to crowd out that voice of the risen Christ in our head. I think this is really important these days. We're just being inundated with all kinds of bad news, all kinds of really frightening news. And it's important in the midst of that while we, while we can't avoid that, uh, it's also important for us not to lose sight of the fact that the risen Christ is here 
and that there is reason to hope. And, and, and in order to do that, what we have to do, as I said, is we have to train ourselves to pay attention, to open up our eyes, to see the risen Christ around us each and every day. You guys have a great day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.